guys welcome back to my channel so today I decided to finally show you guys my recipe for a homemade deodorant some people have asked me to do this and I was kind of hesitant to do it because the weather where I live is a little bit warm so usually my coconut oil tends to melt but right now it's winter time and I think overall we will all have the same results so I decided to go ahead and show you guys what I do this deodorant works better for me than any other deodorant out in the market the first ingredient you'll need is some cornstarch. I know this says coconut oil in there, but I do have cornstarch in this container. I just happen to reuse the container. You will also need some coconut oil and you will need some baking soda. You will need some vitamin E oil. Vitamin E tends to work as a preservative and it will help this formula last longer. Then I also like to use lavender oil and I like to use another oil called Nag Champa. These are just the oils that I prefer as scents, but you could use any type of scent that you like. Tea tree oil also has antibacterial properties, so if you do include this in the formula, it will actually make it work better, although it really is not necessary because the formula works really good on its own. I really don't enjoy the tea tree oil scent as much as some people do. The other thing that you will need is some kind of bowl or container where you can mix things. You will also need a mixer, which I have over here. This mixer is so old, but it works. Then I also use some measuring cups, of course, and I also have some containers here where I like to put the deodorant in after I am done mixing it. You could reuse uh, candle containers. This is one from the Dollar Tree. Um, it used to have a candle in here, but you could reuse these containers. This is another one from Bath & Body if you intend to make a big batch. I also found this one at the 99 cent store, and I believe Dollar Tree also has these. Or you could choose to use one of these deodorant containers, which will make it a little bit easier to use. In my case, this will only work in the winter time because, like I said, my coconut oil does tend to melt because where I I live it's really quite warm but in the winter time I can get away with using this and just applying it like a regular deodorant but normally what I tend to do is put it in a container like this and then I just use a brush like this and just apply it this way I know that's not very convenient for everyone but it's just really easy for me to use since I just apply it right after my shower and it works just fine for me but today I will show you both ways in case you don't like one way or the other you have the option of choosing so here I have a cup of coconut oil which is not yet melted and I will go ahead and stick it in the microwave and melt it I have about three-fourths to almost a cup of baking soda and I have a little bit more than a cup of cornstarch we're gonna go ahead and melt this in the microwave so I will stick it in there for about a minute or two until this melts and then we will continue to mix our ingredients can you guys believe this microwave is over 23 years old? It is one of the very first microwaves that JCPenney made, but it still works and I guess we could just call it vintage and make it sound a little bit more fancy. And just set it for two minutes and just kind of keep an eye on it. It took a little bit less than two minutes for it to melt. It still hasn't melted all the way, but I don't want the coconut oil to boil or anything like that. So that's why I took it out before it actually melted all the way. Just so that you know, since my microwave is so old, it doesn't heat up as much as the newer ones. Your microwave might take a little bit less time than mine did. First, we're going to add the dry ingredients into this large bowl. This is the cornstarch, this is the baking soda, and next we're going to add the coconut oil. I think I heated it up a little bit too much, and I try not to do that. I like to not add all of it at first and mix it because I want to make sure that I'm not adding too much coconut oil. I usually mix it on the lowest setting. I just kind of like to look at the consistency and see what it looks like. This time it looks a little bit too runny, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and add in a little bit more cornstarch. We are going to stick this in the refrigerator to make it solid, but still I like for the consistency to look a little bit more thicker than this. This is why I like to not add all of the coconut oil into the mixture in the beginning because once the coconut oil is melted, the measurement is different from when it's solid. So that's why I kind of try to eyeball this. So we're gonna go ahead and maybe add two heaping tablespoons of the cornstarch here. 
You could also add more of the baking soda, but I like to add in more cornstarch than baking soda because for some people, baking soda can be a little bit too strong for your underarms, especially after you shave. That's why I like to add a little bit more cornstarch than baking soda. Let's mix this up. That it's not as runny as before it's, it just feels a little thicker next we're gonna go ahead and add some vitamin E oil because this is going to help as a preservative you just need about three or four little drops of it and that should be good enough then you can add the scent of your choice I like lavender oil like I said some people don't like to scent this deodorant very much but I happen to really like a scented deodorant. I just love to smell lavender on me and the stronger the better. So that is just my personal choice, but you could just add between six to 10 drops of the scents of your choice if you like it very lightly scented. I just put pretty much like a whole dropper full of the lavender. Here I have some patchouli and vanilla oil that I'm going to go ahead and add this time. And the next thing I will add is some Nag Champa. You could blend it again or just whisk it. Just make sure you mix it in really well. I usually like to take a little bit and just apply it on my skin and see if I like how scented it is. I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more of the patchouli. I know guys, it seems like a lot. But just so that you guys know, these are oils that are safe for you to apply on your body. Try to look for oils that are actually food grade to make sure you won't have any kind of skin reactions. There are some oils out there that are meant to be for scent, but for rooms, not for your skin. So make sure that you pick out oils that are food grade if possible, or that are just meant to be for perfumes because you don't want to irritate your skin. I always tend to go more towards the food grade more so than the perfume ones even because those will be a little bit more gentle. And especially if you're applying it under your arms, which is a really sensitive area, especially after you shave your underarms. So now we're going to go ahead and pour it into the containers of your choice. I have a used up deodorant container here. You put it all the way up and you clean this as much as possible. You could also take it out and clean it in there. But before you pour the ingredients in there, make sure to lower this little part in here. So we're just going to pour it in with the spoon all the way to the top. As you guys can see that right there and don't worry about it spilling like to the sides because we could just clean that up after we solidify this in the refrigerator so for now we're just going to go ahead and put on the lid and we're gonna go ahead and stick this in the refrigerator next I'm gonna pour some in my huge container gonna put the lid on it and stick this in the refrigerator this is what it looks like after having it in the refrigerator for approximately 45 minutes it just depends how much or how big the container is that you are uh, putting it in 15 to 20 minutes is fine for the deodorant itself this is what the deodorant looks like it's ready to apply you could just clean up the edges there if you like but you just apply it like a regular deodorant and it works just as good. It smells great and it's just wonderful formula. This one is still not done. It needs a little bit more time. Probably an hour would have been better. The edges of it are already done. So I just take a little brush like this and just kind of wipe some on the brush and then just apply it this way on to the underarms and it works beautifully. So I really like this formula. It works wonderful. That is how I make my homemade deodorant. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that it is beneficial to you, that it really helps you guys out. Thank you guys so much for watching. God bless you guys and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.